Wait, what? I'm only inserting one record and I'm getting too many DML statements. One? How is that even possible? Meet Rhea, a Salesforce developer who just hit a confusing governor limit error. Hey Rhea, I've seen that one before. Let me guess. Your method is marked as at or enabled. Cacheable equals sign true, right? When you mark a method as cacheable equals sign true, Salesforce treats it as read only. That means no inserts, no updates, no deletes. Just read operations like SOQL. Cacheable methods are meant for fast, client-side data access. Trying to modify data here violates the read-only contract. And boom, you hit the DML limit. Here's your original code with a DML inside the cacheable method. That's the problem. And here's the fix. Split the logic. Use one method to fetch data and another non-cacheable method to update it. Oh, that makes so much sense now. I separated my methods and boom, no more DML error. Thanks, Arjun. Happy to help. Just remember, if it's cacheable, keep it read only. So next time you see too many DML statements, one, and you're scratching your head, check if you're doing DML inside a cacheable method. Read only means read only. Got it. Want more Apex error fixes and real world Salesforce tips? Like this video, subscribe, and don't forget to check the full blog post for detailed code examples.